Hello and welcome back to my next pound for pound fighter being featured and we are going to one of the big boys um, on this latest pound for pound video. We are going to Sugar Ray Robinson. Many people's choice as the number one fighter of all time, not my personal, but many people rate him the best fighter of all time. So we will go through the pound for pound record of Sugar Ray Robinson after which he will join my pound for pound little database of 10 stats I am building for each fighter. So... Let's start out Sugar Ray Robinson with fight one on his pound for pound record. Fight number one is against former top 10 rated pound for pounder Sammy Angut, which is a win. His second fight against a former rated pound for pounder is against former top 10, top 3 and number one rated pound for pounder Fritzi Zivic. He then in fight three fights top 10, top 3 pound for pound number one Fritzi Zivic a second time gaining another win. His fourth fight Sugar Ray Robinson against pound for pounder is a rematch against top 10 rated Sammy Angut. And fight number five on his pound for pound record is against the Raging Bull earlier in his career, the former top 10 and top 3 pound for pound rated Jake LaMotta. So five wins in the bag. Robinson, of course, then suffers his first career reverse in pound for pound fight number six against the same aforementioned top 10 and top 3 rated Jake LaMotta. Now, pound for pound fight number seven for Sugar Ray, okay, is against California Jackie Wilson, an underrated fighter who also scored a top 10 pound for pound finish in my ratings. That is another win there. And then he goes back in for fight number three against the Raging Bull, top 10 and top three rated Jake LaMotta in fight eight, which Sugar Ray Robinson wins. He then beats former pound for pound number one and former top 10 and top three rated pound for pounder Henry Armstrong, um, who was on a good run of fights. Uh, people say he was totally washed up, but he was beating good fighters and on a good run of fights so I don't know where that comes from uh, he was past his best obviously but not shot uh, Robinson beats Henry Armstrong in fight 9 fight number 10 okay is against George Sugar Costner who also um, one year made a snip entry into my boxing library in all time pound for pound ratings uh, that is another win there for Sugar Ray Robinson and then he goes in for the latest fight in pound for pound fight number 11 against the raging bull Jake LaMotta again who's top 10 and top 3 rated and pound for pound fight number Number 12 is another fight with um, Raging Bull Jake LaMotta, which is another win. So Robinson's only lost one of his pound pound fights so far. Pound pound fight number 13 is a rematch against top 10 rated clutch Sammy Angot, very underrated fighter. And pound pound fight number 14 is another fight against an underrated fighter that is former top 10 pound pounder Georgie Abrams. Pound pound fight number 15 for Sugar Ray is against um, Jimmy Doyle, of course, which was a world welterweight title defence. Uh, Sugar Ray Robinson wins that. Doyle was top 10 rated. And then he scores a second win in fight number 16 against top 10 rated California Jackie Wilson. So, two more mega fights <clears throat> follow against the Cuban Hawk. In fight number 17, Sugar Ray Robinson fa faces and beats former top 10, top 3, and pound for pound number 1, Kid Gavilan. He then in fight 18 fights Kid Gavilan a second time um, and gains a second win. Of course, Robinson fought Gavilan in both a non-title fight and then a title fight. Uh, Gavilan gave Robinson some trouble. Uh, Robinson got two wins, though, that are high-profile wins on his resume. And to close out this first slide on the pound for pound record of Sugar Ray Robinson, he fights and beats um, a second time former top 10 rated pound for pounder George Sugar Costner. So there's 19 fights in the bag for Sugar Ray Robinson on his pound for pound record with only the one defeat to Lamotta that he has avenged three times. Um, so that is the end of slide number one. Of course, it's Sugar Ray Robinson. Um, so we are going on to slide number two. But that is a hell of a list of fights against top fighters. And on the second slide, it just continues with more of the same. Although... When we look at fight number 20, okay, we find it is a win against another former pound for pound number one rated fighter. That is top 10, top three, and number one, Carl Bobo Olsen, the Hawaiian punch. He then fights in fight number 21 on his pound for pound record, underrated fighter. That is former top 10 pound for pounder, um, Bobby Dykes, gaining another win. And then, of course, um, in the St. Valentine's Day massacre, he wins the world middleweight title in the latest fight with top 10 and top three rated Jake LaMotta. So, his next defeat on his pound pound record. Now, he suffered a defeat in um, fight number six on his pound pound record, and he doesn't lose again until fight number 23. That is the shock upset to former top 10 rated pound for pounder in my ratings, Randy Turpin. However, Sugar Ray Robinson comes back, he's in a bit of trouble again, um, but then finds the punches to bomb Turpin out of there in fight number 24. So, Robinson regains his middleweight title. 
pound for pound record for Ray Robinson when we go to fight number 25, okay? It's the second fight with former top 10, top 3 and number 1 rated Carl Bobo Olsen. And then into fight number 26, okay? He gains a win over um, kind of... Um, the not long rated, the briefly rated um, former top 10 pound for pounder Rocky Castellani, who was a tough, rugged middleweight contender. Fight number 27, okay, is another fight against top 10, top 3 and number 1 rated Carl Bobo Olsen. And Sugar Ray Robinson following that win in fight number 27 beats Carl Bobo Olsen again in pound for pound rated fight number 28. So he's only lost two out of his first 28 fights against Pound Pounders, but now he's obviously passing his prime and his form um, dips in the Pound for Pound states because he's still fighting top-level opposition. In Pound for Pound fight number 29, he fights um, briefly rated Pound for Pound number one fighter in my ratings, top 10 and top three Pound for Pound number one, Gene Fulmer, an underrated fighter with an underrated resume. However, in fight number 30, he produces one of the best one-punch knockouts in boxing history um, when he avenges the defeat to top 10 and t- top three and former number one rated pound pounder Gene Fulmer Sugar Ray Robinson then has two more fights ring magazine fights of the year two gruelling fights in fight number 31 he fights for uh, welterweight champion top 10 and top 3 and pound pound number one rated Carmen Basilio uh, Sugar Ray Robinson loses his title but then regains it okay beating Carmen Basilio in pound pound fight number 32 in the rematch those two were gruelling tough fights believe me However, then in pound pound fight number 33, Sugar Ray Robinson finally loses, um, you know, his middleweight title for the last time. That is against tough and um, capable um, former top 10 rated pound pounder in my ratings, Paul Pender. Sugar Ray Robinson tries to win the world middleweight title for the sixth time um, in fight number 34, but top 10 rated Paul Pender beats him a second time, ending his run as a world champion. In fight number 35, Sugar Ray Robinson gains a draw against top 10 and top 3 and pound pound number one, Gene Ford. Fulmer, and then follows that up in fight number 36 with a loss to Gene Fulmer. His final three fights against Pound Pounders in fight number 37, he loses to former middleweight champion top 10 rated Terry Downs. He then loses in fight 38 to Hall of Famer top 10 and top 3 rated Pound Pounder Joey Giardello and closes out his Pound Pound record losing to former top 10 rated, albeit briefly, Joey Archer. So there is 39 fights against Pound for Pounders, okay? Let us now go on to the stats for Sugar Ray Robinson on his Pound for Pound record. So Sugar Ray Robinson was pound for pound top 10 rated for a total of 11 years. Uh, Sugar Ray Robinson was also pound for pound top 3 rated for 7 of those 11 years. And Sugar Ray Robinson is in that exclusive little club of fighters who have held the coveted pound for pound number 1 spot in my ratings for 4 years. Now in individual pound for pounders beat, Sugar Ray Robinson beat 14 individual pound for pound rated fighters and beat some of them more than once or 4 or lost to them more than once. Um, total fights against Pound for Pounders, Sugar Ray Robinson comes in with 39, and his overall record against Pound for Pounders, he has 39 fights, including 28 wins, 10 loss, 1 draw, and when you think about those defeats, a lot of those defeats were in the last third of his career when he was past his prime, um, you know, he only lost two um, from near 30 Pound for Pound fights before he went on his more run of, um, you know, swappy and changey results, so that is a massive pound for pound record. Another of the big weeks. I have got Esau Charles coming. I have got Sam Langford coming. I've got Carlos Monzone coming. I have got lots of fighters coming. My pound for pound database will grow. But there's another one of the big weeks. The impressive pound for pound record of many people's greatest fighter, uh, the great Sugar Ray Robinson. I will be back soon with more videos. I'm out for now. <laughs>